Good morning. At least it's morning here where I'm at. Um, I am going to post a picture of my notes because I left my other form at home for the color planning thing. So it's kind of rough. It's not the best. So I thought I'd walk through it really quick. I also laid out a timeline that um, we can work through together and uh, taking it just little chunks at a time, especially to digest the pattern as you need help round by round if you need help uh, and also <clears throat> highlighting that this is how I write my patterns there really isn't an industry standard and my suggestion is if you're able to test out uh, designers patterns for free please pause the TV thank you if you're able to test out patterns or designers patterns for free and find a voice and a style that works for you that is awesome because we all do it a little bit different and uh, that can be part of the challenge is finding somebody who writes to your voice and there's so many of us that you'll absolutely be able to find somebody who can get you what you need my little munchkin here <laughs> okay so it's rough writing in my book so i apologize that that is the case oh i cannot turn my thing around so i'll just hold it like this for a second and there will be a picture I'll upload as well. So here I have, um, let's see if I can get my teacher reading space on. Some things to do before we get started next week is right here, read through the pattern, ask any questions that you may have, um, look up any stitches that you don't know. YouTube is a fabulous resource and work on your color plan. I've got a timeline. Section one is July 5th through the 9th. Um, as far as getting stuff out, um, the second week is July 12, July 12th through the 15th, and that's when we work on section two. And then you just repeat the same thing over and over after that point, which we'll still be here offering help and guidance and assistance through any of that. So it's not like, okay, it's done, bye. Or if you're working ahead. If you're working ahead, I just may not have the time. Um, and I'm also kind of wonky with deadlines. Hold on just a second. Miley, please pause that or shut the door. Um, of course, as soon as I'm ready to start recording is when everybody in the house wakes up. Um, so color planning, you can do one solid color in or one cake, one yarn, that kind of thing. And, and the pattern is written to that. Um, if you would like to switch it up, I have, here's where the round numbers are. This big line is section section one, then there's section two. I have it written out for two colors. And right here is just kind of a um, cliff notes of what that round stitch types are. Um, they're grouped together by similar feels. Uh, so here you've got color A and color B, and it alternates so that by the time you get to section two, the stuff that was beans, like if color, let's see, let's take a look at the bean stitches are color B in section one. And then I go down to the bean stitches down here. Or excuse me, that's A. I was looking at it wrong. So in my first section, the beans are going to be color A. In my second section, my beans are going to be color B. And that way it just kind of gives this, the two colors gives it a, um, more of a back and forth and even flow and distribution of the two colors that you're you're using uh, <clears throat> my approach to color to three color combos which if you look up um, I can post a picture of a a little R&R &R, which is a different pattern of mine which is fabulous so if you like this one and want a little bit more of um, like the next level up a little R&R &R is your pattern um, but what I do with three colors is I have one contrasting color. In my um, baby blue blanket, I had uh, a gray ombre that was my contrasting color. And that stayed, the stitches that are gray are always gray throughout the whole deal. So here I've got um, round seven, we work on some post stitches. So every time you do that same post stitch round, it's going to be the contrasting color. Then it's gonna be mostly chunked of the same color A, color A. Oh, and there's my contrasting right there. And then for the repeats is where I switch it up. So then it's gonna be 
section two is mostly color B. Oh, and there's my contrasting, color B, contrast, contrasting. And then I switch for the next section, it'll be A again. And it, it gives, um, I think it gives a little bit more room for the single cakes to shine, but also getting more variety in how the color looks. I hope that kind of makes sense. I hope I'm able to upload this. We're at the ocean and uh, so reception's kind of spotty. I'll try to upload it to YouTube because I think that's generally easier and then I'll link it to the page. Thanks everybody for joining us. I'm having fun and life's too short. Start the next project.